I'm gonna show you one of my favorite deadly fleshy baits for catching rock cod. What we require for it, obviously our latex cotton, nano soy hooks, combination swivel, um, 31 kilo or 0080 uh, nylon, and it's reasonably thick. Um, rock cod are not scared of thick nylon at all, and because where they feed, it's always best to go heavier than lighter. Um, some very light sinker snooting, 21, 18 kilo. Um, either a weed eater grapnel or a teardrop, it's up to you. Little chocker hammer. What I require for this is either a red eye or a mackerel or a combo. And I'm going to be showing you the combo version. To make the trace, very simple, let's just take all the stuff off. We take our nano soy hook, we attach a little bit of foam to it, about 40 to 60 centimeters of nylon, that would be the 31 kilo or 080 nylon, kingfisher nylon, and our kingfisher power swivel. Basically, to do it, what we do is we use our mackerel as a base, and we cut it at an angle. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut it long ways and we're gonna make a big mushy bait for it. Rock cod have very big mouths. So as far as making a small little bait that size, you can catch a four kilo, three kilo rock cod up to a 30 kilo rock cod. So we'll just go quickly through it and do it. Okay, the part that I require most of is the stomach. Okay, so basically we've got the stomach of the rock cod. We're just opening ever so slightly. Take our hook. And that is where all the gill plates went through. So we're going straight through that area. Pushing it down and in. Squeeze it as hard as you can to get it all the way around. We take our thick cutlet and we put it quite far back. So if you have a look at it, the actual belly part, the cutlet comes, it would be like a continuation basically of the actual stomach. So we put it quite far back and we bind it down as best as we can. And you don't have to be too neat with this bait. The bigger, the bulkier, the more messy it actually is, the better it's going to work for our rock cod. But this is a nice bait that you can throw far. So as long as we keep it sort of aerodynamic, the bait will work for us. Just turn it around. Okay, then we take our red eye. And we're cutting from the top of the head over there, if you can see where the knife is, all the way down to the stomach. You want that smell to come out of that. There we go. Take pretty much most of this head off. Gills off. There we go. That. Open it up and cut straight down the head. Chock a hammer, and we're gonna lightly hit it. We're not gonna hit it too hard, we're just gonna lightly hit it. Just so we start getting some of that blood in that out. There we go. That all basically goes on the top and around. So opposite way, 
And there we go, nice big smelly bait. We take our thin cutlets now, and I'm going to cut two very thin cutlets here. And we're literally just tapping it. And on either side of our stomach, we're just putting our baits down. Come on, don't do that to me. There we go. So what we've basically got is a very, very hard inside, being the mackerel belly. Wrapped around it, we've got our two cutlets of mackerel or one cutlet of mackerel and the red eye on top like that and if I've done this properly I should be able to twist the hook to face up a bit more and it's not working as well as I wanted it to but that is basically what I wanted to try and achieve just a little bit too steep over here with that belly that I cut so that is just a little bit too steep so to sort that out we're just gonna push it in a bit more that's basically what we're trying to achieve the little peckers are gonna come around eat all the little blood and particles off and it's gonna make a big plume of blood and smell in the water the rock rod's gonna come around and Hopefully inhale the whole trace, the whole hook trace that is.